I used, used Multimedia Fusion 2 to develop all my games. And then I used Renoise for music, uh, Anime Studio Pro for uh, animation. I guess each game has like this tif different target audience. Like within a deep forest, uh, people who like that game usually liked it for the atmosphere and the puzzling, like the challenging parts, uh, figuring out stuff. While the people who liked Knit also liked the atmosphere and preferred the fact that the game was just scaled down to only be a beautiful place and like have the simplest possible gameplay mechanics. Like the most tr tricky thing in that game you can do is like a wall jump, which is which is still like a combination of two keys. Uh, right now I develop my games in uh, middleware multimedia fusion 2, uh, which means I can only release it on Windows, but Saira uh, is avail available on Steam and uh, on Gamers Gate. And uh, I really hope to be able to reach out on more of them, really. But, but right now it's on my website on Steam because they are PC games. Uh, well, I have this programmer friend, Jamie, who is porting Night Sky to uh, Mac and some more systems. Uh, with his help, I might actually be able to reach out with like this game and perhaps some future games on more platforms. I guess time is the main limitation. And you have to think small enough, but any type of game should be possible if you just don't imagine that you have to do this huge RPG with like 30 hours of playtime. If I can put together a team with five people, that would be so nice. You won't make a fortune in the beginning. I mean. Uh, some people may, but uh, a normal company doesn't even make a profit during the first three years. So you have to be ready to like live cheap uh, and uh, really just develop, even if it's really hard, and try to get stuff done. In the end, it's really worth it.